Hi Taurus. Feeling a little forgotten this month. January 2019, mid-January. Eclipse, the week leading up to it. The actual eclipse and the week following. What's going on, guys? Afraid to say, afraid to know, afraid to say out loud what you feel like you already know. Why do you guys do that? Almost, not quite. Man, being really stubborn about this eclipse. There we go. Now I can't pick it up. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Well, that's why. Feeling really, really soft right now. Um, feeling vulnerable. Feeling like you want to share, particularly if it has something to do with your past or if it's with somebody from your past. Um, and really, really strongly feeling this emotional sentiment. I want to say heavy, but it it's heavy, but it's not at the same time. I think it's not necessarily that it's heavy. It's just that it's a lot. And you guys weren't really expecting that, you know, um, to be feeling so much in that way. It's normally what you make fun of water signs for, right? <laughs> for being decidedly unchill. <laughs> uh, and then we have the fool. So there's a reason that you're feeling this way. Um, to be stubborn about it. Good timing, right? There's no need to be stubborn about it. It's okay to be feeling this sort of softness. Um, or even to reminisce. I think that uh, reminiscing is not as dangerous for you guys as, as what you might initially feel. Um, it's okay to recollect something which felt put to bed. It's not going to emotionally threaten anything new that you're venturing out on. If anything, to recollect and to see in a new light emotionally the past, it will make you appreciate this future that you're heading towards even more. Don't be scared, guys. It's okay. You know? It's alright to have a time in your life where you're emotional and you really feel the need to share it. Don't beat yourselves up for having to be so strong. You, I feel like we've been talking about this for like, since last year, right? Man really struggling to open up. I, and I get that you're trying to. It's, it's not that you don't feel like it's trying. It just feels like it's a lot every time. Eight of cups, you know? It's a lot, this, this eclipse, asking you to do something new, to share, to open up, to move forward, to take your past and be kind about it and to it and to yourself and to use that as motivation to go forward leaving behind that exact past you know recollect it to put it to bed finally because if you don't all that is going to happen is eight of swords you're going to get caught in this mental trap it wants to be thought about for a reason right now. It wants, you want to have your own closure. Now does this mean talking to somebody, reaching out to somebody? Yeah, it could, it could definitely mean that. Um, it could definitely mean that. That probably terrifies you. Um, and I'm not saying that it has to. 
I'm just saying if you very, very have an intense peace about it, where you know that no matter what the other person says or does or whatever the reaction is, that as long as you say the words that you feel need to be said, you, that's what you need, then yeah, I would say go for it. Now, if you're expecting some sort of response or some sort of affirmation uh, in order to get that closure to speak, I don't, I don't think you're quite ready for that. Because if somebody comes at you crossly when you're trying to be vulnerable, that's really, you guys will carry that for decades. I, years is underselling it, you know? Um, but Eight of Swords and then Five of Pentacles was what came out after that. If you don't take time to look back over the past right now during this eclipse, it's coming back up anyways, and it's going to just make you feel disconnected and alone at a time where you're very, very naturally and easily feeling super connected. Super connected. And if you force yourself not to, then you're going to feel forgotten. You're going to feel, sorry, cut off. Having some camera problems. The timing is a bit funny though, no? So this eclipse is really going to test you in terms of seeing if you're ready to be vulnerable so that you can move on to the next phase. Um, if you're not, you're going to cause yourself a lot of anguish and a lot of grief. And the Devil and Seven of Cups, you're going to have to revisit those lessons in a more visceral way. Yeah, this eclipse is asking you gently. If you dig your hooves in and are really stubborn right now, it's going to buy back <laughs> even harder with you guys. I mean, very few things have the will that you do in the universe. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to person versus the universe, the universe is always going to win. Because the universe wants you to win. Here, a fan, your card. You allow yourself to be on, open and vulnerable. Own, honorable. Jesus, cannot word right now. <laughs> uh, you get to be you. Uh, power and authority, your natural sense of being, of influence, of being all of the qualities that you love most about yourself and that others love most about yourself, being a channel for the world in that way. That's what you get to exemplify, but first you got to be soft. You have to have a period of soft, and this eclipse is not playing around with that, guys. Don't dip back into confusion and bad habits and the messiness of the devil and the seven of cups. Not when there's just so much that there is to explore about yourself right now. You get to reconnect with yourself, rediscover yourself, you renew yourself. Eclipses are not meant to be frightening. They're meant to be enlightening. And I really didn't plan that. And I really wasn't trying to like write a Hallmark card. The Zodiac Hallmark card. Those would be so cool, right? Does anybody know anybody that works at Hallmark? Oh my god, I would love to do that. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, Page of Pentacles here, fan. Uh, a tender and exciting exploration. Ready really to change things in your life. To get shit done. Because you're actually feeling like yourself, you know? You're not actually having to force yourself to think about it or try to pre-plan pre it because this eclipse is really wanting to put you in a state where, like, you're ready. Like, there's no more thinking or hoping or trying. You don't have to try. You just are. So come on. Be a little bit open. Share a little bit of yourself. Look at the past and then let it go. You know? Clean up the very, you know, the final edges. King of Wands, Four of Cups. Hmm. Interesting, right? So there's definitely that, that will to explore, which bleeds into this King of Wands. Authority. Gaining authority back in your life, just like the Hierophant. But maybe hesitating. Doubting yourself. I don't get the impression that anybody would know. I feel like this is what you would portray on the exterior and this is what you feel on the interior by the end of the month. That's okay, you know? 
Just don't get lost in it. Not... Don't get... Hmm. Don't get so lost in it that you can't actually do this. It's okay to feel Four of Cups, you know? For as much trouble as that card can be in a larger scale. Or certain other combinations. Um, I mean, it's just a part of life. Like, any card is. Um, and I think that this sense of confusion or looking back or regret or sadness or even a sense of longing almost. Like, the option that we wanted, like, isn't here anymore. And, um, now that we've had all these new revelations, that can be used as fuel for transformation. You know? Artists aren't always as sad. Singers and bands aren't always as heartbroken as when they first write, you know, their hit songs or create their hit pieces. But, um, that doesn't make it any less palatable and pertinent to other people when they experience that for the first time, even if it's decades later. later. So, don't undersell your creativity. Actually enjoy yourself as well some right now. Three of Cups. And I think that's a good place to stop it right there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of good stuff underneath it. Going into February, we've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Um, justice. So... You know, a lot of fulfillment and a lot of creativity and a lot of being able to move forward into ventures that are profitable both on a soul and financial level for you guys, right? Little one-two combo. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, pardon the interruptions, a little bit short on the shorter side. But yeah, you know, allow this eclipse to work with you, don't work against it. Okay, loves? Mwah. Bye.